Hey, what's good, people? It's Vitas Tech checking out Toner's latest condenser microphone, the Orca One. Now, this is not only one of the better looking mics I've seen with that black and red colorway, which gives me gamer vibes. It's one of the better filling mics with what feels like a full metal build for the adjustable stand, which is great because then it can't be knocked over easily. And then you have the matte plastic finish for the shock mount and the mic to reduce fingerprints. Now, I could be biased here, but I think this will look great in any setup. But again, I do love that black and red color combo, so maybe it's just me. Now, this mic comes with so many features. Not only is it plug and play, but the braided 2-in-1 Type-C to USB cable open doors for it to be used on many devices outside of computers and laptops. I actually have it hooked up to my S22 Ultra recording this audio right now. It has a 3.5 millimeter jack to monitor your zero latency audio, RGB lights that show you your gain. Now real quick, is it cool? Yes. Is it the best way to try to remember your gain levels? Not really, I'm just saying. It also has one tap to mute right on top and a noise cancellation button to help block out ambient noise. For example, this is a mic test, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. This is with the noise cancellation off. Now this is with the noise cancellation on. This is a mic test, testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, testing, one, two, three. Let me know what you think. Once again, this is with the noise cancellation off, and this is with the noise cancellation on. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Now, before we move on to the most important mic test, let me cover my dislikes real quick. Now, number one, you probably guessed it, but the gain indicator. Outside of being cool, it's not really all that useful unless you can remember the color chart. Nobody got time for that. And number two, the thought of the noise cancellation is really dope, but in actual use, I found it to not really be the best. Now, if you're in a really loud environment, it's gonna be pretty good. But if you're not, it's just gonna target your voice and get kind of harsh with the cancellation. But that's pretty much it when it comes to my dislikes. Let's move on to the best part, the PS5 test. Does it connect to the PS5? And if so, how is the audio? Let's go. All right, so we are gonna test out the Toner Orca 1 by playing one of the silliest, funnest games I've ran across on the PS5. This is Jump Jet Rex. If you know, you know, you're just a dinosaur going throughout the galaxy, collecting coins, defeating bosses, avoiding blasters and lasers. It, it's a Mario type game if you can kind of picture that. I'll show you what I mean. Now we are gonna go here because this boss, if I remember correctly, is absolutely annoying. Don't feel like dealing with that right now. So we're gonna go to the level before it. Now, my best time was 1 minute 19 seconds. I haven't played this in like 6 months. Really doubt we're going to break that time right now, but we're going to see. So we'll start in 3, 2, 1, let's go. So you have to collect all of the rings in order to progress. You don't have to collect all of the nuggets, the, the gold bars, whatever you want to call it. That's just so you can like upgrade your character and stuff. So. You don't have to collect every one. If you do, you do. It's nice, but definitely not the most important. I took out the bot and got got by the thorns. All right, so that's all right. We still are doing decent. We aren't doing the best, but we're doing okay. We're at 30 seconds right now. Collect all of the rings, blast through there. Oh yeah, did I forget? Did I forget to mention you got butt blasters? Yeah, you got butt blasters. <laughs> Oh, the lasers got me. The lasers got me. I thought I had made it through. All right, we'll blast through there. We got to hover for a little bit. Boom. I got got by the lasers again. What's going on? All right, so let's go. Let's go. Woo, almost got me. Almost got me. Made it through that time. All right, let's go. Let's go. Boom. Collect those. Ooh, the thorns almost got me. We'll hover, then blast off. Get through that ring right there. All right. And we need to get there and then blast through there. Let's go ahead and take him out. The door closed before I was able to get through. All right, so let's do that again. Boom. 
who just barely made it through? We could have possibly. But yeah, there goes all of them. Collect the star. And that's the finish point. So we missed our time by just nine seconds. Should we do it again? All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's see if we can beat it. I want to know if we can beat it. Let's restart mission. All right, so three, two, one, let's go. All right, so we know what to expect. That was my first run. We've got to beat it on the second run, right? Boom. Just, oh no, come on. Really? All right, ain't nothing but a thing. Let's go. Don't have to collect that. Can we still do it? Can we still do it? Did I miss a ring? I do not know. So we're at five out of, let's blast through there. I think we're making up decent time, not sure. Really wish could have got in and out of there, but can we get through? And boom. All right, so let's see, wait right here. Get in, get out, there we go. We're not looking great, but we're not looking terrible. It all comes down to, ooh, I think I just blew it. Ooh, and we, oh, we toasted our time. Boom, one minute, seven seconds. What better way to end this? Once again, this is audio coming from the Orca One. Let me know what you think in the comments below. We beat our personal time. Let's go. I'll catch you on the next one. Later.